Reagan National Airport briefly closed because of a bizarre landing accident. Here's the video for you. It's a World War II biplane. It was flying into Reagan to promote a film at the Smithsonian on flight yesterday. And then, there you see it. That's what happened. As it landed, the plane flipped over. The passenger on board, a Washington Post reporter. I fly a lot. Uh, I thought the approach was perfectly uh, normal. Nothing, nothing extraordinary about it at all. And uh, then all suddenly we're upside down. And he's so calm when he talks about it. Suddenly we were upside down. Both he and the pilot were unhurt. The plane, as you can imagine, though, was damaged. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS. On April 5th, 1993, a Boeing 767 of Guatemala's Taka Airline was coming in for a landing at La Rora International Airport in Guatemala City. By chance, a Mexican passenger was filming this particular journey's end. What none of the passengers knew was that a tropical storm had just passed over the airport. The runway was soaked, and the pilot was coming in too high and too fast. Skidded off the Death toll rises to 26 in Taiwan plane crash caught on video. Rescue teams in Taiwan continued the somber search for survivors and bodies Thursday after the spectacular crash of a trans Asia Airways prop jet captured on dramatic video. At least 26 people died but 15 survived when the plane clipped its left wing on a bridge shortly after taking off from the capital of Taipei and crashed into a nearby Kyolong River. 17 people remained missing and were feared dead. Taiwanese rescuers used a massive crane to hoist the French-built Air 72-600 plane from the shallow, murky river after survivors were brought to safety on rubber rafts or scrambled to the river bank on their own. One injured person was reportedly found in a park along the river, Taiwan News reported. Wa Jun Hong, a Taipei Fire Department official coordinating the rescue, said he was not too optimistic that more survivors would be found. Dramatic dash cam footage from vehicles on an elevated highway clearly shows the plane's tragic crash. Some Taiwanese paid homage to the pilot, saying he made a desperate, deliberate choice to avoid the additional casualties likely if the plane had hit nearby apartment buildings, high schools and roads. Taiwan's Liberty Times newspaper quoted online comments thanking and praising the pilot's actions, although aviation authorities could not immediately confirm such an effort took place. The fate of pilot Liao Jianzong, who reportedly had nearly 5,000 hours of flying experience, was not immediately known. It was the second of trans Air 72 to crash in the past year. Last July a flight crashed in stormy weather while attempting to land on the island of Penghu, killing 48 people and injuring 10. Among the causes of airline crashes. November 1996. A startled tourist captures the scene as a hijacked Ethiopian jet with 175 people on board crashes into the water off the Comoros Islands in the Indian Ocean. Only 50 survived the hijackers' forced suicide pact. During the four-hour ordeal, the plane lost an engine and its communications. One of the hijackers, bolstered by a bottle of whiskey, decided to fly the plane himself. As the crippled jet ran out of fuel, the pilot, who had been hijacked twice before, and the co-pilot, who had been bludgeoned with an axe, wrestled back control to lift the sinking airliner over a hotel and into the shallow...